has a lot of amazing racers. I'm all about number eight in the green. Oh, and he's going down to the pit of hell. There comes the third ramp. You know what? Just because you're in Egypt doesn't mean that you think like you're somebody, okay? Like my friend over in North Carolina, you know what he said? I'm from North Carolina, there you go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are once again to watch Skull Kid. He's about to race in Motor Cross Madness. Excavation is going to be the course. Let's see what bike he chooses. Cletus, what do you think? Well, you know, if I were him, I'd probably go with the Patriot, but it's locked out, so he can't get that. <laughs> well, let's see what he goes for. The answer it is. Bike selection upgrades are coming up right now. Looking for some grip in his tires, I see. He only has 1360 in cash. Cletus, what would you do? Well, if it were up to me, you know what? If you just got some rings around that bad boy, it don't matter what kind of rubber you got. You know what? The way I see it is... His coaches have got to be really looking closely at his engine, wheels, alignment, everything. You know what? I'm actually looking at, like, if he's, like, a, you know, wearing, like, what's important to me. My favorite color is gold and green, okay? Red, gold, and green. Like Karma Chameleon, okay? Like Boy George and everything. Karma, 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 Karma Chameleon. You know, well, there you go. He's got... Well, he's got black gold and red, so there you go. Unfortunately, it's not going to be Karma Chameleon today. Low bike class. What does that mean to you, Cletus? Well, you know what? That means that he didn't go to those fine dangle fancy places to go and eat, okay? It's low class bike racing self. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're loading it up. We're about to hit the track. Skull Kid is about to take the course. Stand by! Total bail distance, 603 feet. Longest drift, 202. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the race on the excavation track. Skull Kid is trying to come in Gold number one. Let's see what he can do. Cletus, how do you feel about it? You know what? There's a lot of amazing racers. I'm all about number eight in the green. You know what? Skull Kid is all the way in the back. Like I said before, I just don't think this kid can do it. He's all about tricks and running into, you know, big old boulders and everything like that. He doesn't care about racing. Race, oh my lord, ladies and gentlemen, he's hit the Indian air, landed it. Here comes the next round. You know what? He's all about tricks and things, bird of prey. Woo! I don't care about the bird of prey. It's all about coming in number one. Ladies and gentlemen, Skull Kid, in fact, is in number two. He's trying to get heat with Ricky. Ricky's way out there in the course. Here comes the turn. Let's see what Skull Kid does. Coming around the track right now, it's a little muddy. And here he goes. He's straightening out, getting ready for that next big ramp. Here we go. Woo, bonus collected Indian air, and he's landed and stuck it. He's still in second place. Here comes the second Cordova, and he lands it. Whoa, and he's going down to the pit of hell. Here comes the third ramp. Ladies and gentlemen, he has done it. Bird of prey and in the air. Whoa, and he missed the crowd by an inch. You know what? Like I said, see, he just wiped out and face planted. He just doesn't care about the racing. Okay? It's all about being number one. We don't care about being number two, three, four, or five. Okay? Oh, wait a second. He's trying to catch up with Rick. He's in third place right now. He's coming around the turn. Here he goes, and he's leaning in. It's a little muddy on the tracks. Here he goes on the high tip. Dragonfly lands it, sticks it. Here he goes on the next ramp. 
Indian Air, Bird of Prey, and lands it for 818 points. You know what? Just because you're an agent doesn't mean that you think like you're somebody, okay? Like my friend over in North Carolina, you know what he said? I'm from North Carolina, there you go. I about done there and did it, okay? Who cares, you know, big pyramids and everything? Nobody gives a damn about that crap. You know what, Cletus? Here we go, Cordova, and he's hitting the Rams Dragonfly and sticks it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think Skull Kid is going to take it. He's in first place now. You know what? Leaders can be leaders, okay? And followers are followers. I'm right behind Skull Kid looking at him thinking, that's the dumbest yellow helmet I've ever seen in my entire life. So when I hit the next ramp, I'm going to fly right over you like you do nothing. You know what, Cletus? All I have to say is this. Skull Kid does have a little blood. And he is in first place. Here he goes. Boom! Indian Air screams it to the ground and sticks it. You know what, Brown? All I gotta say is this pig does not care about the racing aspect of it all. Okay? You can do all the tricks in the world in the air, bird of prey. I'm a bird. See that? He almost ran in to a whole bunch of spectators that haven't been fed in five months. Hold on a second, Cletus. They're all eating popcorn right now. Here he goes and he hits the ramp, lands on the ground, and is still in second place. Matt is the reason, Brian. He is not the leader right now. He's all messing around and everything. Trying to look all flashy for the crowd. Here he goes for the second ramp. Cordova! And he's hitting the big ramp way. He's in first place now. First place. That's the way to do it. You know, it's a beautiful day. It's only 128 degrees outside, but I guess when you're on a bike, it doesn't really matter because the wind's rushing past your whole body. That bike is just doing amazing things. Look at that. Suspension is still keeping him up. Here he goes. Cordova Dragonfly and lands it for 978 points. What do you think of that? You know what? Uh, he's probably going to face plant at one point or another, and then he will lose, okay? Because if I like, here's the thing. I'm a racer. I'm all about winning. Number one for me, suckers. There you go. So I'm behind Skull Kid right now, and I'm thinking, oh, you can drift all you want, sucker. Because when it comes down to the end, I'm going to take it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here he comes around on the turn. His score is 19,234 points. He is in first place. Here we go on the ramp. What's he going to do? Boom! Indian Air, and he's crushed! He just got hit by that rig. Oh, man, that is a horrible blow. Horrible blow he is. Take it back to second place. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa! He's in first place. I guess he kind of does want to win. Maybe if he stops showing off with the first break. Ah! Reminds me of Star Trek and everything with those stupid looking. Oh, see what I mean? He's doing all those tricks and face playing the rock. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, he's in second place, but he's trying to push forward. Push forward, Skull Kid. He's now at 22,750 points. Here he goes around this turn. Bike straining along the way. Let's see if those tires can hold up. Cletus, how do you feel about this next part of the track? Well, if I were him, what I would be concentrating on is the fact that there's a lot of mud on the track, so you got to be careful when you're hitting those turns and everything. Oh my lord, he came in first place. Ladies and gentlemen, Skull Kid is coming first place on the excavation racing track. My name is Brian, and I'm Cletus. And this has been another episode of Skull Kid Racing Around Motocross Madness all day long. You know damn well we're all about the game. Thank you very much, and I'm signing off. Sayonara. See you later, peaches and cream.
Oh, stop that nonsense, Peaches and Cream Herb Crap. Thank <laughs> you.